वेलकम टू बायो ग्लो इफ यू लाइक दिस चैनल प्लीज शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्टेरिलाइजेशन एंड डिस इन्फेक्शन पार्ट थ्री माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जसील असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबयोलॉजी मर्कस आर्ट्स एंड सैंस कॉलेज आदवनाट देन नेक्स्ट मेथड इज नोन एस रेडियशन मेथड द रेडियशन हेज इफेक्ट ऑन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स बिकॉज दे अब्सोर्ब रेडियन एनर्जी The time required for destruction of microorganisms depends upon intensity of radiation, duration, distance of the source of illumination, nature of medium in which the organisms are exposed. Mainly two types of radiations are used for sterilization. That's our non-ionizing radiation and ionizing radiation. अब स्टेरलेशन मेथड नेक्स्ट मेथड है रेडियशन मेथड रेडियशन मेथड प्रत्येक अब्सोर्ब रेडियन एनर्जी आंड द मैक्रो ऑर्गानिस डिस्ट्रक्षन डिपेंड टाइम रिक्वयर्ड फॉर द डिस्ट्रक्षन ऑफ मैक्रो ऑर्गानिस डिपेंड्स अब ऑन इंटेंसीटी ऑफ रेडियशन ड्यूरेशन डिस्टेंस ऑफ द सोर्स ऑफ इल्यूमेशन एक्सेट्रा द नेच ऑफ द मीडियम इन विच द ऑर्गानिसम आर् एक्सपोस्ड प्रधानमंत्री रू टाइप रेडियस यूस नोण अयनसी रेडियशन आयनसी रेडियशन वाट नोण आज नोण अयनसी रेडियशन द नोण अयनसी रेडियशन इंक्लूड्स अलट्रा वयलट रेडियशन दैट ईस यू वि रेस दीस् आर् शोट रेस ऑलमोस्ट वेव लेंत टू हंड्रड्ड टेन टू थ्री हंड्रड्ड टेन नानोमीटर हाविंग लो पेनिट्रेशन पवर पेनिट्रेशन पवर वाले कुमार शोट रेस ऑफ वेव लेंत आलान द इफक्टी वेव लेंत ईस बिटी टू फोर्टी नानोमीटर आज टू ए नानोमीटर एम दी टू फिफ्टी फोर नानोमीटर ईस द मोस्ट एफिष्यं वेव लेंत फॉर स्टेरलेशन अब इरूटी नाप इरू अंपद अल मोस्ट एफिष्यंट आेव लेंत मनस These are mutagenic and produce lethal phytochemical changes in enzymes and cell constituents such as DNA, protein, etc. Then UV rays are able to kill cells and temporarily delay cell division and synthesis of certain substances by the cell. So, cells ne killiya mandu be kundu ultraviolet rays. So, bolte ne temporarily delay the cell division and synthesis of certain substances by the cell. It is the most effective in the absence of oxygen. And aerobic conditions are like that. Most effective are to remove all living microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, viruses, including spores, are sensitive to UV treatment. However, spores require double exposure. Then, what are the applications of ultraviolet radiations in the control of airborne infections by air disinfection? For example, disinfection of enclosed areas such as entryways, hospital wards, operating rooms, laboratories, etc. Then, disinfection of drinking water. Then, obtaining pyrogen-free water. Then, preparation of bacterial and viral vaccines. These are the applications of. ultraviolet radiations then sources are the uv rays are components of sunlight sunlight na pradhana pada source aayittu varunade because of which sunlight has got bactericidal activity appo sunlight na bactericidal activity ullathu kondu pradhana pada source aayittu varunade sunlight aanu then special uv lamps undu the most commonly employed one is low pressure mercury vapor type lamp which emits more than 95% of radiation of wavelength of 254 nanometer then ionizing radiation ionizing radiations include gamma rays beta rays x rays etc but gamma rays and beta rays and x rays and they have very high penetrating power penetration power valare kooduraan these are highly lethal to dna and other vital cell constituents the method is known as cold sterilization अयोणस रेडियन उपयोग मेथड नोल्ड स्टेरलेशन पर बिकॉज दस् नो अप्रीशियब इंक्रीस इन टेमपेच टेमपेचल वर्धन गाम आीटा रईस आर् एक्सटी यूस फोर स्टेरलेशन ऑफ इंसट्रमेंट आ ड्रसिंग पैक्स सच आज प्लास्टिक सीरीज स्वाप कलचर प्लेट कैथीट वैरियस टाइप्स ऑफ रब्बर्स काोर्ड्स फाब्रिक्स मेटल फोइल्स अब इतना स्टेरलेट अयनसी रेडियन पेट गाम बीटा रे उपयोग दें आलसो फोर स्टेरलेशन ऑफ ओइल आज ग्रीस फुड प्रोडक्ट फार्मस्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट एक्सेट्रा एक्सरइस अनदर टाइप ऑफ अयोणसी रेडियशन लाइक आलफा पार्टिकल 
neutrons protons are not recommended for sterilization either because of poor penetration power or because they induce radioactivity in exposed materials so x rays are also ionizing radiations and recommend cheyunnilla endine poor penetration ulla sadhanangal allengal radioactive exposed aayittulla materials nannu sterilize cheyan vendite ubhayogikkarilla then filtration method of sterilization of thermolabile substances heat sensitive aayittulla objects ne sterilize cheyan vendite nammal ubhayikkunnathu filtration aanu then filters are used for removal of microorganism from the fluids or liquids that are thermolabile that is sensitive to heat hence it cannot be sterilized by heat these thermolabile materials are made free from organisms by passing through filters so filters lude aanu ee thermolabile substances ne pass cheyunnathu filtration is usually carried out under negative pressure the fluid is sucked through the filter in a receiving flask which is connected to an exhaust pump the exhaust pump causes suction of the fluid through the filter what are the applications of filtration sterilization of medicines or other materials which are heat labile and are damaged by heating example antibiotic solutions syrup carbohydrate solutions enzyme solutions toxins or toxoids hydatid fluids to obtain cell free bacterial products such as toxins enzymes from cultures appo idinakku vendi endu cheyunnunde nammala filtration upayogikkunnunde to make virus that is bacteria virus containing fluids free from bacteria or that is to obtain bacteria free filtrates of viruses or to separate and study microorganisms which are scanned in fluids example testing of water sample for vibrio cholera and salmonella adinakke endu upayogikkunnade filtration upayogikkunnade for purification of water water and purification of filtrations upayogikkunnade what are the different types of filters different types of filters each one having its own applications are available first one candle filters these are manufactured in different grades of porosity in the form of halo candles it is used for purification of water on large scale mainly two types of candle filters are available first one unglazed ceramic filters it's also called porcelain filter composed of hydrous aluminum silicate or kaolin example chamberland and dalton filters after use they can be cleaned with chemical agents such as sodium hypochlorite solution അപ്പോൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും കെമിക്കൽ ഏജൻസ് ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ട് ക്ലീൻ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ഒരു ഉപയോഗം കഴിഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ സോഡിയം ഹൈപ്പോക്ലോറൈഡ് സൊല്യൂഷൻ പോലുള്ള ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ട് ദേ വിത്താൻ സ്ക്രബിങ് ദിസ് ഈസ് എ പിക്ചർ ഓഫ് ചേംബർലാൻഡ് ഫിൽട്ടർ ദിസ് ഈസ് ഡൗൾട്ടൺ ഫിൽട്ടർ ദൻ ഡയറ്റമേസിയസ് എർത്ത് ഫിൽട്ടേഴ്സ് ദീസ് ആർ കമ്പോസ് ഓഫ് ഡയറ്റമേസിയസ് എർത്ത് ആസ്ബസ്റ്റോസ് ആൻഡ് പ്ലാസ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് പാരീസ് ഇൻ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പ്രൊപ്പോർഷൻസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ യൂസ് ദ ക്യാൻ ബി ക്ലീൻ വിത്ത് ഹൈപ്പോക്ലോറൈഡ് സൊല്യൂഷൻ but they do not withstand scrubbing example berkfeld filter then asbestos filters is composed of asbestos fibers that is magnesium silicate that is to be disposable disposable aanu single use disc aanu available in different grades example seeds filter carlson and sterimet filter then what are the disadvantages of asbestos filter alkaline is filtered liquids it has carcinogenic potential then sintered glass filters it is composed of finely powdered glass particles of different size according to the required pore size appo finely powdered aitla glass particles aayirikku undarikka different size illa glass particles aanu sintered glass filters il undarikka they have a low absorptive property they can be clean easily they are expensive and being glass types and to be fragile in nature then membrane filters it is composed of cellulose esters and are called millipore or polypore filters it is available in different range of pore size almost 0.05 to 12 micrometer then 0.22 micrometer filter is commonly used as this size is smaller than bacteria appo membrane filter undakkiyullathu cellulose esters adu pole thana millipore or polypore filter vachira undakkiyullathu different size of pore size and these are more suitable for preparing sterile solutions and is used for water purification and analysis sterilization and sterility testing and preparation of solution for parental use 
these are all about this topic thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share and